Hello, this is Klaus from QuantUX, and in this video I will explain how to use our master screens. First, we have to create a new prototype. We give it a nice name, for instance, Test Master. We select the screen format, so let's go for the iPhone 6, and we just create it. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to create a screen, and we call this screen the master screen. Now let's add some tabs to it. So we create a box, we call it tab 1, we format it, we add two more boxes, tab 2 and tab 3, and we position it at the top of the screen. Now we create a new screen. We go to the add screen symbol, we create a new empty screen. And now we select the screen and we go to the master screen section. We select the master screen as its parent screen. You can see that the new screen has inherited all the tabs from the parent screen. Now it's time to link the screens. But first we set the first screen as the master screen. Now we select in the master the tab 1 and we link it to the first screen. We do the same for the second tab. We link it to the screen 2 and also for the third tab, which we link to the uh, third screen. Let's now add some content to the screens, for instance some labels. Tab 1 in the first screen, tab 2 in the second screen, and tab 3 in the last screen. Now we can start the simulator and we can see that the tabbing actually works. So by clicking on the tab labels we can switch between the different screens. But this prototype is a little bit boring. We would like to give some visual feedback. To do so we select one of the tabs in the screens and we say we enable the editing. Now we can give it a color, for instance a gray. This means that this tab is selected. We do the same for the other screens. We select tab 2, make it grey, and we select tab 3 and make it grey in the third screen. If we run the simulator, we can see that the current tab is now indicated. But this is pretty normal stuff that you can do with a lot of tools. The real magic comes now when you select the items in the master screen and change their properties. You can see changing the font size, for instance, in the master screen will automatically change the font size in the inherited screens. You can also change for instance the color and everything is live updated. You will notice that tab 2 is not updated in the second screen because in there we override the color of the second tab. We can of course also update the position and the dimensions of the items. We can them all make bigger or smaller however we want to do. We can also override the size of our widgets in the child screens. For instance we can make the selected tabs a little bit bigger to give some visual indication to the user. In the simulator you can see now that the size of the tabs changes if they are selected or not. But we can also make that even cooler and we can animate this transition. We set now the animation type to transform and the default duration to 0.5 seconds. We do that for all the other tabs too. If you now run the simulator you can see that the size and the color of the selected widget actually is dynamically animated. This gives a very nice visual effect. Thanks for watching. I hope you like our video and I hope to see you soon on QuantUX.